Libra to the Temple of Consciousness. My name is Ava, and I'm inviting you in for your August 2024 Astrology Tarot Forecast. A reading relevant to you if your sun sign, your moon sign, or your rising sign happens to be Libra. So let's begin. The two planets I want to track are Mars and Venus because they are fast moving planets and they usually concern the current events that are taking place during the month, the changes, the sort of um, obvious immediate changes uh, that are uh, taking place in the month. So Mars this month is in Gemini. And so is Jupiter in Gemini. And you're going to find uh, Mars and Jupiter transiting your ninth house of higher learning. And Jupiter is also a planet of higher learning, of broadening your perspective, your worldview, growing, your knowledge base, because the ninth house is the house of higher learning, spirituality, and with Jupiter here, it, it really does bring an, an expansion out of what you know, how you conceive of your world, your perspective on larger issues in life are highlighted this month. Now, we've got Venus, the Sun and Mercury transiting Pardon me, it's in Virgo and it is transiting your 12th house. Interestingly enough, this is also a very profound and deep house, realm, place in the chart that identifies more complex and deep aspects of the psyche. It's the id, the hidden part of the psyche that is often stimulated during sleep, bringing up uh, deep and repressed um, emotions, memories, and translating them into dream images during sleep. It's a very important area of the chart because it represents those things in your mind that you haven't faced or that you've pushed away from conscious awareness. And with Venus here, Venus is the planet of love. It is the planet of beauty. So it brings healing. Any relationship that you have can move to a deeper level of complexity, meaning during this phase. There is also forgiveness that can take place. Forgiving yourself, not blaming yourself for those for the heaviness that you might be carrying emotionally, forgiving others for the heaviness that they may have imposed upon you at some, point, at some time in your history. So this really is a, a tremendous month of healing. And Libras, Libras can be 
very uh, astute, clever, wise, intelligent. But it helps a Libra to deepen their self-awareness and to come into contact with areas of themselves and others that are perhaps a little uncomfortable. So this is interesting because we've got uh, Mars in Gemini and this is in the ninth again the house of higher learning spirituality and long-distance travel immersing yourself in different cultures be that physically or intellectually learning removing yourself from the everyday ordinary and contemplating, meditating. So it's interesting, you might be very introverted this month, more so than usual. So the Libras aren't necessarily introverted. Or it may be that you're seeking deeper understanding via the world to expand your horizons via the uh, travel. So this is the uh, ground base of the astrological aspects that we're um, going to look at. So let's begin your reading with the sound of healing. So let's start your reading with a moment of um, shuffling the cards, getting a little bit of uh, randomness into the order as I thank you for your viewership and thank you for uh, the support that you've given and the messages that you sent. They made a great deal to me, and your support is invaluable to me and allows these free readings to take place. I appreciate whatever help you can give. There will be links below for my personal readings if you would like to give that a try. So let's split and begin. This is a four-card spread. The first card represents the overall energy or mood, thema thematic energy of the month. Interesting, interesting. We have the four of swords, which depicts a soldier returned from battle. And he is laying on a coffin that was meant to for him if he were to come back. Unalive. He is in a state of meditation in which he is contemplating the battle that he has been through. So it's very much related to Venus in the 12th house. And it's also a swords card, so it's about the mental perusing that goes on uh, that, that allows your analytical mind to penetrate more deeply into the issues, the circumstances that have brought you that stress and tension. With Venus in your 12th, it becomes a period 
that is August becomes a period of recuperation of deep contemplation of rest of bringing peace to the situation it's about deep introspection and what it is is saying is that you take on the burden the psychological burden of your past but you don't escape from it you spend time deeply analyzing it removing from yourself the painful wounds through the liberation of uh, negative emotions so <laughs> on a very mundane level you might want to uh, get a massage spend a day pampering yourself find some quiet place where you can deeply consider your situation that is again the mood of the month of August for you Libra and here we have in the position of what will challenge you the ten of wands depicting a farmer who is bringing his harvest to market but his vision is impaired by the wands the amount of effort that he's had to put in the amount of labor concentration focus that he's had this is the ten of wands so you've been through a very long journey an arduous journey and you really can't see that you're almost there that it's almost finished so don't give up that's your challenge don't give up now stay vigilant steadfast resilient and persevere that's the word persevere Remain committed to your goal. Again, you can be pulled down by uh, your own fears, insecurities, disappointments previously, which is, again, the Four of Swords and uh, the stimulation of your 12th house by Venus so now what it's really saying is that it feels like that your journey is never gonna end and you wanna <laughs> you might wanna stop and just put your burden down and rest as is prescribed by the four of swords you can do that but not quite yet even though there is this wanting to just uh, spend some time with yourself still you need to get your uh, harvest to the market you need to finish this 
journey you're on, no matter how heavy your burden may be. So that is your challenge. And in the position of the unexpected, we have the Two of Swords. The Two of Swords depicts a woman with a blindfold on. She's got her swords crossed over her heart. You're protecting your heart. You're still because you're thinking, again, meditating deeply. The twos represents decisions. There's a very important decision coming up this month. But you don't have all the information that you need. You're a little in the dark about what to do, how to choose, what decision to make. And so this is unexpected. You thought perhaps by this time that you would be more informed, that you'd have more data to go on, more um, knowledge to go on. But you don't. So you're called upon to make a decision without really having the full uh, docket of data and information that you need to make that wise decision. So you hold off. There's a delay in making this decision. Or if you make this de decision, pardon me, if you make this decision, then there's a bit of uncertainty as to what, if the decision will be right or wrong. So this is what will surprise you. And it's interesting too. So here we have two cards in which the protagonists can't see. Can't see in front of them. Can't see what is necessary to achieve a goal, to arrive at your destination. So you need to be very cautious, again, introspective, and analytical. Maybe you also need to garner more information, more knowledge about the situation before you make that important choice. So let's see how it all ends. We have a reversal. We have the Seven of Wands reversed. The Seven of Wands depicts, when it's upright, depicts a gentleman at the top of a hill kind of defending himself from his competitors, those who wish to take his position, his authority, his success, his achievements. They want to be in his position. So they are, the wants are raised in a symbolic gesture of competition. So you're in a very competitive very competitive environment. Now the card is reversed, which means that you have to give up a little ground. You haven't lost the battle, but you have to give up a little ground. You have to compromise with your competitors, with those who are vying for your position, for your success. Even getting out of the rat race, out of the race, we have the Four of Swords uh, endorsing this idea of retreat, healing, recovery. Maybe you'd have to leave the battleground and withdraw from the competition. The
challenge of the Ten of, of Wands says that you've been through a very long journey. The end is very near. You are about to receive the reward. You can't give up. Yet, by the end of the month, there is a level of compromise that will be necessary for you to achieve your journey's end. Being high up on that hill, you become the target. When you go back down the hill and you join everyone, you, you become more invisible. And this is an interesting, uh, such an interesting ending because it's asking you to kind of retreat from the battle, become more invisible, retreat into yourself, heal yourself. And this is the way you arrive at your reward, at your journey's end. It is a very, very deep and Oh, complicated, psychologically complicated month for you, Libra. So I hope this helps. Forewarned is forearmed. Thank you very much for joining me. All my love to you. And namaste. I will see you next month. Libra. The origins of the tarot have been veiled in mystery. We know that its mystical allure has intrigued people for centuries. The tarot has evolved through the ages to become a tool for divination, self-reflection, meditation, and spiritual exploration. It has its origins in ancient Egyptian philosophy, but it's also been influenced by the modern rise of occultism and many various esoteric systems of this accumulated wisdom that it spawned and knowledge has been gracefully handed down to us. I personally have been captivated by the mysterious powers of the tarot for over 40 years. And I've found that each reading can offer profound insights, revelations, guidance. It can even be a gateway to the very depths of our soul. I've dedicated a large part of my life energy into understanding the multitude of dream symbols and images that the tarot uses to help open up our psychic mind, that portal into our own depth and soul. If you need any help in understanding yourself, your relationships, your job, your career, or your chosen life path, please don't hesitate to purchase a reading, a personal and private reading from me. I would very much enjoy helping you. Thank you. All my love and namaste.